now police do not have any suspects, but they say the shooter is responsible for sending a 26 year old man to the hospital and endangering the lives of two young girls who were in the back seat when this shooting happened. Now, police were not initially called to a shooting scene tonight. It was actually an undercover officer who saw this vehicle speeding toward the Homestead Grays Bridge with multiple bullet holes in it. That officer followed the car to the waterfront, and that's where they found the male driver had shrapnel in his back. He was taken to UPMC Mercy, where he has since been released. Now, police say the shots were fired in Hazelwood near Imogene Road. There's not much information on the shooter, but police were hoping that more interviews with the witnesses could lead to something. There was an adult female and two female children. None of them were um, injured or shot. There may have been some flying glass or debris that struck them, but uh, they're going to the hospital only to be with the, uh, the male who was shot. At that crime scene, police weren't sure of the relationship between the two children and the male driver who was shot. They do say that they have only one clue tonight as to who the shooter could be, and that is a person who was driving a white vehicle. That's all the description that they have. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.